that he did his first event literally last week. He's on good form. However, yesterday I went to have a dress on lesson with them both. Affy was good as gold. Star on the other hand, pulled a shoe. So we couldn't even have our dress on lesson. So, Star and I are going into our first novice of the year and only our third ever novice together as a combination with uh, two days off, which if you know Star, I never give him two days off <laughs> because he's always got energy. Potentially no shoe if that doesn't get fixed and a lot of stress because I am relying on my farrier to come out put on a shoe this evening so that we can actually get out of editing but it's fine we're just gonna roll with it I'm gonna take you along with us as we walk the country course it's probably gonna be pretty wet and gloomy and then I'll give you my thoughts when we get back so I will see you when we get there. Fresh eventing sign we've made it and I'll show you, we've got like a prime spot on turning around. <laughs> so the layout is a little bit different from the last time we came because the first fence is right there, can you see? It's rubbish <laughs> It's right there. So it's really, really close to where we've been parking, which could be interesting with Star. Um, the warm-up's right over there, which last time the warm-up and the start were like way up in the distance down there. So yeah, a little bit different. Wearing the uh, best life hat. Not really a hat person. It's very rare you'll see me with a hat on the world, but looking a little bit miserable outside, so stay warm. So we are course walking and we're trying out the cross country app, which is what Mum's doing, uh, which you've never done before, but hopefully it may make me slightly better at the optimum time. I have to see. Um, we got to fence two, walked up that steep hill, and then it cut out, so you have to start again. And my mum's in charge so I can continue to vlog. <laughs> so I will let you know if it works. At those undulations on the ground. There's guys, there's my bogey fence. Oh my god, I'm so scared. There's a lot to digest here. 9A. 9B, 9C. And the water combo. So you've got a jump right there and a jump in the water. This is the ultimate time to say how good these boots are. My feet are dry. Cross country all walked and we're just going to nip around the show jumping quickly. You wouldn't say that on the vlog. It does look quite big though for your first fence. Just saying. The course has walked and we are on the way back home. The rain actually held off other than the first couple of fences where we got a little bit damp. It was actually not bad love it when that happens so big smiles here um the course itself is actually all right it's quite big and wide in the first half which weirdly enough is exactly what i was saying last time except this time the course is running like backwards a completely different direction so i thought maybe they might switch up the fences a little bit but they've still got most of the biggest widest fences in the first half but in terms of technicality there's nothing that i'm like really freaking out about is good for a novice because usually I'm walking and I'm like that's gonna be a problem and are we gonna get over that um yeah the course itself has I'd say like some good questions but nothing that I'm like freaking out about Atty's already jumped pretty much all of the combinations the pig arcs at seven the corner complex at ten and the water jump so I know he's seen it all before and there's nothing there that I think Star should really have a problem with obviously you would have seen it fence six as my dreaded gate which I was hoping wasn't going to be in it but it is if you saw the last one on World Blood you would know that Atty had a little bit of an accident there he kind of we almost like did a little bit of a rotate obviously we didn't thank the Lord but in stopping it he was very clever with his feet but he managed to like stud himself with his back leg and ended up having some time off and it was just stressful and quite scary <laughs> so that gate being in it it's not made my day but it's actually in a very different place i think it may even be painted 
a good idea of minute markers, which is useful. And now to head home. Could be a slightly stressful evening, which obviously I will bring you along for because as well as having two horses to that ahead of an 8.50 dress line in the morning, I'm also relying on the ferry coming out to put star shoe on so that I can ride star because so I had a day off a couple of days ago and then he was meant to be ridden yesterday but didn't because he was missing a shoe so he kind of needs to be ridden tonight because I think I'd be slightly stupid to take a horse like him out of venting off the back of three days off. So that is what's hopefully going to play out this evening. We'll have to wait and see and I'll bring you along with me. We literally cannot go on the M40 without stopping at the service and getting a Starbucks and I am not complaining about that. Okay, so I've just got out of the yard. The ferry has been for Star and this is my first victim. <laughs> I'm gonna get him all plaited up, have a quick round of Star, plat Star. So it's gonna be a long evening because it's already gone six o'clock. So here we go. But it's okay when you look that handsome. I'll do anything if you look that handsome. Atty is usually such a fidget and he's being so good, just stood still, not even tied up. So I'm gonna see if I can time lapse it, but he may end up moving. Okay, Atty's all plaited. I'm deliberately not showing you the end result. It's tragic. I put in a lot of effort. Why does this always happen to me? Now I'm with Steed too, who's not looking too bad for him. He's not looking super clean either. Oh, <laughs> he's like, what have you got for me? And he has four shoes on, which is great. The fire came out and replaced the shoe that's missing. It actually also helped and replaced the shoe wear. We had a problem with the stud hole. So hopefully we're in good form ahead of tomorrow. But I've just seen the indoor arena is booked with a couple people in and I just think, Although I want to go and run through my justice test, the worst thing I can possibly do is try and run through it with people in there and just like upset him. And so I'm going to start getting him plaited up and then maybe when they're plaited down or sectioned off, I'll get them ready and go and ride. All plaited and they are not that good, but they are better than Matthews. There you go. Sleep peak, that's what you get to see. Just got home, it's gone dark. And I have to say my vlogging game has not been strong this evening. I've been so rushed trying to get everything done. It's currently about 20 past nine. Haven't had dinner yet, so I'm gonna go inside, cook myself up a storm. I'm thinking some halloumi, maybe I will show you, but both boys are plaited. Also got to ride Star. He was actually pretty good. Don't wanna jinx it. <laughs> it's not gonna be a great test. It's not because we're still not great at those movements and I haven't really been practicing much over winter. I've been trying to get like a solid foundation, which is my mistake, but th the grassroots stuff he was really good at, the leg yielding, stuff like that. It's just not gonna go great tomorrow. <laughs> Anyway, I will uh, stop using the best light and I'm going to get inside and cook because I am tired. I present to you one very carby masterpiece. I mean, I know it just doesn't look amazing, but it is 10 o'clock. So don't give me a hard time, guys. And then if you come around here, hopefully my uh, numbers are printing out. Oh, and they're printing out the wrong size. Great. Love that, it's 10 o'clock, I wanna go to bed. We're up at like 5 a.m. in the morning. Final job of the evening all done. Because there's an outbreak of an equine virus at the moment, you have to kind of sign this declaration before you go anywhere and compete to say that your horses aren't showing any symptoms. So that's what I've done and now I'm all ready for bed. So I shall see you in the morning. Good morning. Made it to the yards. Good morning, Etsy. Lots of sleeping ponies. And let's get some feed and get underway. Somebody is chomping away. I'm going to do a little inspection while I eat to make sure that there's no poo stains. None here. This is the perks of venting a grey horse. Oh, I think we might be all good. And that never happens, does it? Tack is all loaded in the locker and we are pretty much ready to go. Gotta just get the boys in first. But I do have a genuine question because we have a four and a half ton lorry. And if we ever take out two horses venting, this is what it looks like. Not only is the tackle completely full, but the living is completely taken out with saddles as well because we have four saddles between the two boys. Does anyone have a solution? Is anybody else? What do they do? How do they get around this? Because I'm convinced there must be a better way than just keeping the saddles in the living. Anyway, that's my 5am. Need for help? Should we get the boys? Somebody has perked up considerably since seeing that they're going out and venting with their best friend because Star is already in the lorry. And now it's time to load Atty, and he's looking rather excited. Ignore his plaits because half of them have fallen out, which is great. And there's Star. You can see your best friend. If you look on the camera, you can see two little bottoms all happy and eating. We are on our way. Drunk. I never seen a 
So I sort of forgot to keep you guys updated, but we are on our way. We're actually like two minutes away now. It's been an alright morning. The weather's not so great now, but we're here feeling a little bit nervous now. It's sinking in. We're going. We're going to go into a novice. And yeah, the nerves are creeping up on me, but hopefully it will be okay. So Atty is up first. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of time to chat in between phases too much because we're like bang, 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 eventing two horses is always like that it's always just a lot to take in in one day so Atty's up first he's doing all three of his phases before star does anything so you'll get to see how he gets on first which is good for me i think to ride around the cross country course on him because i feel a bit more confident it's been raining a little bit so i'm thinking the ground might be a little bit slippery but hopefully it's going to pack it in because I'm not feeling the rain yeah i think that's pretty much all there is to say i will chat to you in the breaks when i have time but because it suddenly feels very very real we've made it and we've been parked in like an abandoned field by itself no one else is in here <laughs> just us and like one on the lorry and um, the boys are here so let's uh open up the lorry one-handed whilst filming and try not to drop my glove and say hello wow this is quality uh, right here hey boys <laughs> someone is looking straight away where are we Hey Star! <laughs> Studs all went in like a charm. Just gonna try and get a couple of stars done before I have to get on and give dresser to Matty. Because I know some of you are very eagle-eyed and I'm sure you will ask about the little codings down here. That is just saddle pads. So for example, that is going to be Stars Crosby. That is going to be our tree house for dressage, spillers, so on and so forth. Now we have our very handy tidy tack saddle pad solution storage carrier. The lighting in here today is not so good, but it's kind of go time. It's time to get into all of my dresser stuff, get ready and go and ride the test on Atty. So obviously it's a lot more of a difficult test than last week because it's got novice movements. Dressage time! We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clutch. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're like wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, 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 nah Trip, 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 oh Flick that switch, kill the lights Oh, wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight because some of the novice movements were not performed that well. Our medium trot was not very medium-y, our leg yields were subtle. <laughs> but it's all right. 
we got through it and hopefully it's okay. So we'll sit around for Tom and Tommy Cruise, they go clear. And that's Flo Carter riding her own Bob and Dub. badly i just could not see a stride save my life i think i was like stressing into these like massive uprights we were getting these horrible strides and he was picking his feet up and being such a saint and then it kind of continued as we went into the ring didn't see the best shot at like i think it was one and then an awful one at three don't know how we left it up and then i was like right you need to pull yourself together you know this horse is doing amazing for you pull yourself together and then he went clear he went clear that's only our second um clear at the novice show jumping i feel like fingers crossed i'm thinking that the hard work is starting to pay off obviously it's not going to be a clear every time but the fact that he came out with that determination and that the will to want to help me out oh my god love him so much haven't seen my dress score like it's not in yet and i'm now very nervous to cross country One done and it starts to hail. Vlog update is that I am very happy. I am so pleased with Effie. He was amazing. We went clear. We were 10 seconds too slow, um, which at Novice I would take. Like that's, we were giving it some, we were going fast. I was really, really pleased with him. Um, course rode all right, got over my dreaded gate. Yeah, he was, he was loving it. The first few he was like pulling me and dragging me, which meant that I rode like four, five and six up to the gate a little bit slower, which is probably where those 10 seconds kind of were lost or we're trying to make up time. Um, but he just gave me the best feeling, like he didn't make anything of that course and he just filled me with like confidence, happiness, <laughs> double clear. So, so pleased that I literally couldn't have asked any more than that. So we've just managed to avoid the hail. It's just started hailing and raining. And I just said to mum, how smug would we be if we were done now? But we're not, <laughs> we've got a big grey horse to go. So I'm hoping that the rain may stop, the hail may stop because Star is very sensitive to things like that. We're gonna get him ready and get going.
dressage then, not as happy as without it. Um, it held together by a shoestring, let's say that. We held it together just, it was like that close to sort of not being good. So we thought it was very tentative and not great. Expecting the high third as much, I think. So 112 is Flo Carter and her own Able Star, number 112. Forty and a dressage for style, which seems slightly harsh, but not miles off. So I can't really be too disappointed. I think psychologically, I was really, really hoping it was going to start the three. Back to the drawing board. We've now got a month after this event off eventing, so time to go away and just take the dressage back to basics and just strip it all back and get to where we want to be. Show jumping was um, interesting. We went clear, but the first half of the course I couldn't ride. I couldn't see a stride to save my life. The second half of the course, I guess that reflected onto him because then he was backing off everything and it was not very pretty, but it was clear. So just hoping we can hold it together for the cross country. Really hoping it have a repeat of last time when we lost all our confidence. <laughs> I nearly was a bonnet at one point, but never without drama because Star has a stud stuck in his shoe. Like it won't come out. We have tried. We have had other people in the room try. It's not coming out. Taking a little visit to the uh, on site farrier. Hi, boys. What a day was today, was today. It's been such a long one i'm literally in bed ready to go to sleep so i'm not going to bore you with a very long outro as i sometimes do because yeah the sooner i film this the sooner i can go and get some sleep which i desperately need so let's just do a very brief recap of the day i feel like i've kept you updated actually quite a lot more than i thought i was going to be able to so you kind of know how every phase has gone on so let's start with that too. couldn't follow his jumping all day so bold so clever just the best feeling he made this level feel easy which for his first time out of the season yeah literally would not change anything about either of his jumping phases so proud of him dressage was just a little bit unfortunate it was just one of those things well actually he did a nice test it was just the first time at this level of the season it was just a little bit harder than aston last week and some of the movements didn't quite come off but i'm not disappointed about that because he was still so willing and he wanted to do it on a star not quite as straightforward um the dressage he just came out and he was never really there in the warmth he was sort of pretending like yeah i'm sort of there but he was kind of like one tiny minor inconvenience away from a full-blown meltdown and then when we went over to the dressage arena we only got to go around the outside once which is completely allowed and legitimate um but just not what suits star star suits going around a few more times before he has to start so as a result he just never really settled and the whole test was on edge um was a little bit disappointed to get 40 it's not miles off where 
I thought we'd be but psychologically I just really hoped that it would start with <laughs> three now it's time to go back to the drawing board and really work on with that um the show jumping was just my mistake again <laughs> a lot of those warmed up but in the wrong way for him he needs a confidence giving warm up not a warm up to get him picking up his feet because he's already quite good at that um so I warmed him up as if I was natty really silly and so he went in he lost a bit of confidence I saw a couple of bad strides and then he was backing off. Credit to him though, where he backs off, he does then sort himself out and picks up his feet, but it wasn't a pretty round to ride and I'm sure it wasn't a pretty round to watch. So yeah, a little bit disappointing because that's supposed to be like our best discipline, but oh well. And on to the cross country, um, we went clear, had some time because I was very, 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 very nearly a goner at fence four, which is obviously very early on the course to have a near miss. Um, just had a little bit of a miscommunication at that like tably thing. A few undulations in front of the ground, pretty sure I pointed that out on my course walk. So I thought I'd seen a stride, but basically it didn't didn't come off because um, the undulations in front of the fence just meant that the stride I'd seen just disappeared and it resulted with me um, having no reins, galloping downhill towards that massive table at fence five. I really thought for like a solid three seconds, I was like, I'm falling off, this is it, I'm going. Somehow I managed to grab a rein um, and get over that table. But yeah, that definitely shook me a little bit. Um, he was pretty good to keep going. Had a couple of sticky jumps after that, but then from about fence nine or 10 picked those up got home safely and that is the main thing have a month now until we head out event again so nothing until early june because we've had quite a bang bang busy start to the season so it's a really good time to go back to the drawing board ahead of like the championship season um go back to the drawing board and just work on everything dressage show jumping all of that um anyway shan't jerk this out to be longer than it needs to be i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with my first numbers of the season i'm glad it's out of the way because i was nervous about it and if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe and like comment below i love reading your comments i say that every single time um yeah so a couple of weeks with no venting i don't know when this edit will actually get up by the time it gets up it might not be that long until we can vent again but so so much exciting stuff around the corner so stay tuned bye